great information. I uh, got a couple of things to go through today. Uh, one is this class. We haven't made our social contract. You've probably done that in some other classes, but we need to do that in here. And then I also want to make sure you can get logged in to our curriculum. So uh, we'll be looking at that today as well. So let me pull up the page I'm looking for here. So, all right. I need to copy that. Copy. So in the chat, I'm going to put this. All right, this is how you can participate. I put in the chat either a website or a texting. You can text to participate. But I'm going to put this up on the screen and open this up for our social contract. There it is. There it is. So the first question I'd want to know is how do you want to be treated by the teacher in this class? I've activated this. This should be active. If you go to the chat, you can see the website where you can enter responses. all right activity is full oh there's a limit i didn't even realize that so okay i can deactivate that fabulous all right, good stuff, guys. I'll, I'll compile all of that together with your most common responses, and we'll post that on Google Classroom, and uh, so we'll have it to refer to uh, this semester if we need it. Uh, may not even need to worry about that because I know you guys have been really participating in everything, and, and uh, I think we'll have a, a good mix in this class. All right, the other thing I have planned today is I need to make sure you guys can log in to our curriculum because we're going to be starting hot and heavy on Monday. But if you look at our Google Classroom, I have posted this morning, right on the front page in the stream, our curriculum link, Buzz, right there. So if you click on that, it should take you to a page that looks like this. And, oh, I have not pulled up what the login looks like. Let me, let me go back and get that. All right, but the page should look like this. So when you go to it, and here is what your login would be. That, that portion of your email address before that at, that is your username to log in to Buzz. So you would go uh, just grab whatever your name is in your email. And then your password is going to be the capital O online 2023. No spaces. Only capitalize the O. That's the only thing you're capitalizing anywhere. Don't capitalize anything in your username. Just the O in password there. So I'll leave that up there for a few moments. So go click on that. Make sure you can log in. Let me know. Oh, Laura's already logged in. Good. So uh, let me know if Buzz will not allow you in because I need to take a look at it. Get that fixed for you. You can say that's what it's going to look like. Let me move this over out of the way for a moment so I can work on it if anybody needs help. Dellen's in. Good. Yeah, don't put the, just put that first part of your email up there. Like mine, dbrock is my username. Okay, everybody in? I'm going to uh, show you what our curriculum looks like. So your student account should have all the classes that you're 
in right here on the on when you log in. Any classes that use Buzz, you should have all of them shown right there. Uh, you may just have one. You may have more. There's some of the science classes, and there's a AP Psych uses it. There's some other classes that use Buzz, so it could be uh, more than one. But if you just have one. I'm just going to go ahead and use the foundations of programming because I know the cyber folks know how to do this and know what it looks like. So looking at the Buzz app at your class, when I click on foundations of programming, what you'll have, and it's probably closed, you have right here, the screen when you get there, it's probably got this folder closed because you just got here for the first time. But if you open that folder, this is our first unit. All right. This is the lessons we'll be going through to start the year. Module one, module one, you'll see all of that right there. Um, the other thing I want to point out while we're here is if you look at the menu up here, you got two different screens. You have the activity screen, which is where the curriculum is found. That's the, that's the page we're on now. And then there's the grade screen in Buzz. Now, there's two ways to get to the grade screen. You can go to this menu. Uh, the quicker way, right as you come in, there's an icon right there. It says grades. If you click on that, that'll take you to the grade screen. Now, the grade screen is great because it kind of summarizes everything that you need to know. It'll show you the due dates. Here's the due dates of all the assignments. Like in programming, uh, next week we're going to have two assignments. We're going to do intro to programming and intro to Python. Python is our programming language we'll be using. So you look there and see what's due. If you're not sure what's due, I, I post it in Google Classroom, but you can go to Buzz and, and it's even easier if you go to this grade screen. You say, oh, well, that's due. And then next week is this one, and then this one, and then this one. So it's just one thing a week after, after next week. And this will tell you, if you've turned it in, it'll tell you what your score was. It'll put a little check mark saying, okay, it's good, turned in. And it'll tell you exactly when you turned it in. So the grade screen will keep track of all that for you. And your semester grade will be up at the top where it says score up there. That'll be your overall grade for the semester. So this should match eSchool. But here's the thing. If you go to your home access center and it's like, oh, that doesn't say what it says in Buzz. I have to manually take the grades from Buzz and put them in the home access center. So if they don't match, it's probably because there's a great, something you've turned in in Buzz that I haven't put there yet. So Buzz would be the most accurate grade because it'll have everything you've turned in. I have to manually put that in the Home Access Center. So if there's a conflict, Buzz is probably the most accurate unless I've mistyped something, you know, but Buzz, Buzz then still would be the most accurate because that means I didn't type it correctly in Home Access Center. So. Want you to see where the grades are, either way to see it. Later on, we can talk about this what if. Towards the end of the semester, if you say, man, I'm so close to getting a B, you can go in here and say, what if I made an 80 on this assignment? What would that do to my grade? You can type in that new grade, hit recalculate, and they'll say, oh, if that grade was actually this, here's what your score for the semester would be. So something to play with. All right, I'm going to go back to the activity screen just to show you right off. The first thing you'll see on there is the academic integrity contract. Now let's look at that real quick. Because, oh, just to show you, if if I decided, well, let me go look at the first lesson. So when I go to that first lesson, it says, well, you have to do the academic integrity contract before I'll show it to you. So let's go ahead and go through that anyway. Uh, make sure it records your email so we know you've responded. And it's basically just is an academic integrity statement. It says, I'm not going to share images, screenshots, or test questions with other students. I'm not going to collaborate with them to answer test questions. I'm going to turn in my own work. Basically, you're saying that you're going to turn in your own work, not somebody else's. Uh, you can put your name there. And then, do you agree with this? Do you understand? And then you submit. Now, here's the important part. After you do this and submit, Buzz is not going to know that you've submitted that because that's a Google form. So after you submit, you have to go click this button at the bottom. Mark this activity complete. So after I've done this, turned all this in, I've hit submit, I marked this complete. Then when I go back in here, it shows a little check mark and says, okay, this is done. Now that this is done, when I go look at the first lesson, or that first introduction thing here, now it'll pull up and show it to me. Now this welcome to Foundations of Programming, it's not really a lesson. That's just letting you know, here's the lessons we'll be doing this module 
Uh, this is the estimated time it should take you to go through it and complete it along with the assignment. And here's how many points each thing is worth. So that's just the 1.00 just summarizes what's coming on this module. So then we can click up here and go to the next activity, or we can go back to the menu and choose the next, next activity. But let's go ahead and let's look. Here's the first lesson. Intro to programming lesson. Like I said, next week we'll be going through this and Python. But if you want to go through and start looking at it early, you're more than welcome to do. There's seven pages. You can jump to pages or just click the right arrow to go to the next page. But uh, the first page gives you the objectives. You should understand those four things by the time you get through the lesson. If you get to the end of the lesson and there's some of this you don't understand, there's something you missed. Something you need to go back. And, and see but when you go through this uh, there's lots of information in here are you ready to code and it's got it's got lots of guided activities where you click says follow the instructions so this says read the code try to predict the output select run program and then look at the output so you want you to read this and say can you guess what this program would do and then click run and you see what it does all right and then it's got a next so after that there's another slide that has different information so when you go through these things just know that there's lots of things that where you click and there's more than one thing there. Now, can you read this? If not, here's the translation. Lots of information as you go through here. And we'll go through this again on Monday. So I'm not spending a lot of time on the curriculum here at the moment. I just want you to get a look at it. Uh, it'll have questions like this where the answer is hidden. So you can try to guess who's the first president to write code. And if you click on that, it'll give you the answer. Uh, this is one of those boxes that if you see arrows down here, that means this is three screens. After I read this, I click that arrow and nope, there's a second screen. And then that, oh, there's a third screen. So you can bounce between the screens. So even though it looks like it's just seven pages, a lot of times there's a lot of extra things you click. Oh, look at all there. There's eight different things there, eight pieces of information. So there's lots in there other than just the page you're looking at. So there's a profile on the original programmer. And here's here's things you click down here to check it information throughout different years. See all kinds of information there. And then the last page will just say, okay, make sure you read everything. Uh, practice using Python, which for us is going to be right here. If you click this idle button, that opens up a programming window. This is a window just like they have on those guided things where when you type code, you can run the program and, and see what it does down here. So this is where you'll put your your programming. When you click that idle button, it opens that up for you. So and it says the quiz. So when you see this, you see them the same name twice. Intro to programming, intro to programming. This is the lesson. This is the assignment. It's got a different icon. It's got a lot of writing in the icon. So when you click on the intro to programming assignment, and you hit start. This is multiple choice. Looks like just five questions, multiple choice for the first lesson. So I'm um, Ask me if I want to leave because I haven't turned it in. I haven't answered questions yet. So, but but that's it. This is what we'll be going through this semester. This is our first module that you have visible right now. But you'll see the lesson, and then the assignment. Oh, I'm sorry. Lesson, then the assignment. Lesson, then the assignment. Lesson, then the assignment. And they're named the same, printing strings, printing strings. So that should give you uh, some idea of what it's going to look like. I just wanted to make sure today, I just wanted to make sure you could log in. That was the big thing. Can you get into Buzz? Uh, can you access where we're going to be at? So that was the important thing. We got our social contract made. We've got all of this. So, man, that's really all we needed to cover today. So I don't want to waste your time and keep you here another hour. Uh, we've covered what we need to cover. I'll let you guys go have a good weekend. If you got questions, I'll hang around. I'm not happy to field questions, but otherwise, go have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you on Monday morning at 7 15.
Thank you.